Thank you for calling me a mainstream actor. It was, it's made my day a little bit. Press the bell icon and never miss an update from Digital Hash. Um, I got a call from uh, Siddharth Sen Gupta, who's the director, and he met me. Um, and very organically, he just started telling me the story of something that he wanted to do. And we start talking about film noir. We start talking about the different things that we like in cinema and in books. And he's a big fan of James Hadley Chase. I'm a big fan of James Hadley Chase. So that kind of conversation just organically got into the story. And then, as soon as he started narrating it, and I started to see all the little layers that there were. I very immediately knew that this was the kind of thing I wanted to do and uh, I said yes, I didn't have to think much. As long as the script is nice and I trust the director making it, um, my job doesn't change. And I, you know, I've, I've learned not to really care about what the numbers are later or how it does. I think, especially in Bollywood, people get worried because you can't immediately understand the numbers. So then where does your ego, do you, are you happier after, are you sad, what's the hit, is it not a hit? So I don't worry about these things. So I didn't think about it at all. If they'd come to me with a play, I'd have done the play. If they came to me with a movie, I'd have done the movie. I only ever get offered villains, man. If I actually wanted to like just work for the paycheck, I would never stop working. I would be doing constant villains that get beaten up before the intermission. Uh, people molesting girls all the time. It's the only roles people seem to offer me is I'm not a nice person apparently. But yeah, no, I really don't care about the positive or the grey or the negative as long as it's author backed. As long as there's some narrative, there's some progression to a character. That's all I want. You know, I play a serial killer very happily. You just have to give me a good one. You know, so yeah, no, I, I don't think about these things. I'm nothing like Rudra in Aparan. Nothing, not even remotely like. It's um, that's where the the work comes in. So it's that I like that they offered me that. I was actually a little shocked because I thought maybe somebody like, you know, like I'm friends with Randeep Huda. I thought like you read this and you're like this is Randeep Huda, right? So I was amazed that people because I have a reputation also because I speak in the accented English that I speak in. I speak the way I do, so people seem to think that I'm a little bit Western snobbish and it's not true. It's just you have to open up a dialogue. So just uh, Varun Badola who wrote the, the, um, the dialogues, he helped me a lot. I studied a few things. I, YouTube is a wonderful resource for actors now. You just do like news stories or any like live interview that somebody is doing in the area that you're playing and you just keep hearing it and then repetition, repetition. What was fun was Rishikesh and Haridwar in the areas that we were shooting in. Also because it was non-stop. Um, we didn't have any breaks really, we just shot. Um, there was a lot of stunts and I did all my own stunts. So that was a bit grueling. Um, I think I knocked out like four or five people on the street just by running into them. Um, it was fun. Busted up my knee a little bit, cracked my head a little bit. The dynamic of the shooting was fun. I found them to be remarkably sweet people. And I've worked with Balaji, I did Mehtera Hero which was produced by Balaji. So I knew a few of them. And then I met Baljeet and Snehil and a whole bunch of the team. And I was quite uh, happy with the fact that they'd chosen Aparan. Sadly, it's a lot to do with the state of the nation as well. There's a lot of stuff that just lends itself to drama very well that goes on. And people seem to want to read and I see people reading um, more crime stories. If like I'm from Bhopal, if you talk to anybody on the street, it's always about what's going on. Ye hua, re wo hua. Uh, so it just seems to be like in the fabric of the country right now. And I, you would need to be a lot more intelligent than me to figure out why. But I do see the appeal. I, it's just in a place as volatile and as anything can happen as India, these are the stories then you relate to because you know that this you know is all possible. Just because of the, the the opportunities for the work, it's 
people in the streaming world and on OTT platforms and all these things, they're taking a chance on subjects that are different. So then they're taking a chance on casting that's a little different. If this was a movie, I wouldn't have been cast, man. They would have taken people way more famous than me or people they thought could have done the part better than me. I'm glad it was a, a web series. I'm glad I got to do it. And I think more people should think about these things because it should be the, the role and the, the story that draws you to do it. You know, a little bit of money is nice. It keeps the bills going. But I think more people are looking for more diversity in roles so that they'll try to do you know, more web series, hopefully. That would depend on Siddharth and Gupta and Mohinder. Um, they wrote it, so if they think that it's a... They want to carry this, these characters forward, that's one thing. They could do an Apparan, another season of a different case entirely. It's, it's all highly possible. Um, I think people have liked it. And there's been a few, this is the only role that I've ever done where people have written into me on like Instagram or something to say that we liked your work. And not industry people, but like just regular folk. Uh, and they all thought that season two would be a nice idea. So if all Balaji decides, I'd more than be very happy to play the character again. As long as it's fun and the script is good, I'd do anything, man. I love the job. So if AIB wanted me to do a farcical video, I'm in. If anybody wanted to do another, just like slapstick humor kind of thing, I'm in. It just has to be written well. You know, the genre doesn't matter. But past a point, the budget doesn't matter. I don't know about the streaming front. I did a British television show called Beecham House. So I'm, again, the villain in that. <laughs> so I've done that. And then after that, I have not a clue. I have no clue what's next. Um, the year finished very nicely and now it's wide open. I think it's a nice thing to, to let actors know, writers know that they are appreciated, that the work matters. I think if you, award, if you award a piece of work or a category of work, then you're saying that this category matters, you know, like web series also matter because there's people that watch it enough to know what's good, what's not. It keeps people on their toes, it keeps people happy. I like the fact that they're awards. Hi, this is Arunodhaya. For all updates on anything web entertainment related, log on to thedigitalhash.com. <laughs>